Hi there and welcome to Qualpox. I am Omar Gizzo and I am going to teach you how to make your gaming experience for cheap in 120 FPS of course. You don't need to buy any monitor if you don't have money for it. Because 120 Hz monitors are not cheap and uh, they are very expensive. Even the uh, without border ones are also expensive. So, um, here's a few things you need and I will be giving you all of these instructions for setting up. Okay. And I am saying thanks to Karam which was, which is my uh, Facebook friend and yes his idea he talked about me oh sorry he talked about the idea that uh, I can get 120 FPS for cheap and so this is the way this is the good video and uh, yes first thing first um, you need a CRT monitor. Um, I will be going back to this in a few seconds. You need um, a CRT monitor and check back of your PC where you have installed your graphics card. Of course, here it is. You need a good working CRT monitor first and the models must be must support to 1280x12024 okay and uh, a compatible GPU here as you can see I talked about the graphics cards in the list you will just scroll by okay here are the GPUs in the list even this works with laptop as well. Okay. Some graphics card have VGA port, so you do not need a VGA adapter if your graphics card don't have any VGA port. So you can buy an adapter as I listed here in in the text. Yes, and non OC, non overclock compatible cards have VGA and over com over clock compatible cards do not have VGA ports. So keep in mind and mine doesn't have any VGA port. My GPU is GTX 960 and yes for settings I will teach you in a minute. So First thing first, next go there and teach you um, the settings you want to do. Next move on. And welcome to Qualcomm and I am Umbar and I am going to teach you a tutorial how to make your uh, gaming system to play games at 120 FPS with some cheap options. Okay, so um, first thing first, let me take you to my PC. Okay, PC back, of course. So as you can see, uh, I hope I have to turn on the night first. As you can see, there are no um stuff that I can connect with so so things you need I will be telling you that things you need is a CRT monitor an adapter like this VGA2 HDMI or VGA2 display port adapter and uh, any kind of uh, CRT monitor will work. Okay, so next start my PC 
and go it from there what settings do you have to do so next roll but first i have to replace something before i do it so now this lcd will be replaced to uh good old crt monitor in my i7 8th generation okay here is the lcd down there as you can see okay so things you need will be done in the monitor next zooming uh, hey guys um i forgot something for you uh yes the part of the second cf so i am here in the windows 10 and for i remove my monitor again and i almost forgot to make the settings video so it's okay that actually won't work here so okay let me tell you first you have to keep your crt monitor connected disconnect any other monitors that you have then right click and find and the control panel go to change resolution <clears throat> once that done go to customize and uh, create custom resolution it will say then accept and then write this only 720 480 and write uh, 120 then from automatic you have to set to CVT and then click test here it does not work and uh, once you click then it will show the display back and then it comes back where it was and you are done then check at your resolution and then click ok it will be showing here in your list and then click here and apply once you have done you will turn everything right you will see the display of 720 by then run your game as I previously done. Ah, alright guys. This is completely damn thing here. OBS Studio stopped working. Nice. Okay. So I have this Dell. Um, I have this Dell T3500 which has AMD card. I don't know my, uh, why my phone is flickering anyways. Doesn't matter. So, here you can see the AMD Radeon settings on the screen. Once you click it, you open the Radeon settings. Every Radeon settings are different, but if you have different kind, anyways, everything is similar. Just you have to go and find this thing. You have to. Uh, Click on virtual super resolution which my card does not support here. <laughs> then when you click this, it will open other options here. So it doesn't work here. And wow. Everything is stop working. Seriously. <laughs> Uh, maybe it does not support because of DVI, I guess. Anyways, um, once you open this, you will see everything. Okay, so you can create a custom resolution here. Anyways, it does not work here. Ha! Unlucky man. Once you turn on super resolution, you can add your custom resolutions and you are done. Wait, uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Next to HDMI, okay? Ah, uh, yeah. I guess, sorry, good one, okay? Once 
something. Look at uh, even now, guys. Again, I, I guess this card does not support. Give a good reason, so yeah, we could stop this one once I because the card is old. Okay, so it's simple. I am the next leave all crying and continue to the game video. I played mm, in my who's that? Um, the yeah. proof, yes. Game is running a small guy, oh my god. Next move out. Okay. Okay. It's work. I guess Massive and Gum are going work as well. This is our test for Gum in 120 FPS. So let's continue here. Yes, as you can saw, the proof that I played in very low resolution at the 120 FPS due to 120 Hz. Okay, so what is CVT, which is uh, CVT stands for coordinated with your timing but that is only support by the CRT monitors uh, flybacks, flybacks and the transformers rotation speed and uh, vertical synchronization with the duty cycle of the current passing through two electron guns in the picture tube of the monitor I mean the CRT monitor and here is instantaneous and progressive. Progressive means to be the best one, but that you saw in the video is truly classic gaming. I remember retro gaming, yes. Seemingly it looks like the same lines. Um, yep. So, that looks really nice on the computer. So, okay. And this will not work with LCD LED monitors due to the reason they have limited and software based uh, um, chip installed inside which limits the increasing of frequency duty cycles and these are the old LCDs the newer LCDs will come um, the, uh, the newer, newer LCDs are having able with these kind of um, things the current LCD was designed up to 340Hz from 4K from 1080 p to 4K which is really really expensive that you can buy two PCs with it with, with it or with that money so or you can buy an iMac or Mac Pro with that money so that's the reason and my monitor supports here LCD monitor and uh, I still have CRT and I will keep using and making the games video on it but you will see the lower resolution videos with 120 fps or you will see smaller portion of the screen on the video because I will not scratch it so so that's how if you don't have money to buy an expensive LCD you can still use an old monitor or CRT monitor you are, you are thinking what to do with the old monitor that's you can do this uh, with your old CRT monitor and I will be giving you all of this instruction in the description so that is all for today thank you for watching and have a nice day